Hope you're all still awake. Late Night Mega here. And last time we jumped into the challenge section and uh, was mostly Mega Man 1 and 2 stuff. So this time we're going to do the Mega Man 3 and 4. We're just going to do the uh, remixes. So there's a remix 1 and a remix 2 for both Mega Man 3 and Mega Man 4. Oh, this is a disorienting place to start you off in. Okay, we're in Sparkman stage. The concept of this is a little bit interesting, because you never know like where you're going to end up. I'm not going to harp on the fact that I would prefer different something different than challenge mode entirely. I've already ranted about that in the last episode, so we're just going to enjoy what's here. Or not enjoy what's here. Hey, I get a spot where I can show off uh, how Search Snake can be used in this part of Shadow Man stage, because we went to Shadow Man first. So see? Positives. Oh. When you start off sliding, it, it gets really disorienting. We're in Hard Man stage. Oh, that was really quick. Snake Man! For the most part, unless it's really detrimental to stick with the Buster, I'm probably not going to switch weapons again in the interest of getting the best time I can. I mean, granted, I already said that I wasn't going to concern myself super much with trying to get uh, gold times and that, but this is a time trial thing, so I'm going to try my best. And yes, I will be making use of the rapid fire button. Like here. Here, we are going to switch to Gemini Laser because that few seconds it took me to go into the menu and switch was worth it. Here is an instance where I probably should have switched. I probably should have just stayed like a tile back so I wouldn't take those couple hits. Wow. Well, we got gold rank on it anyways. Who cares? <laughs> That's certainly not going to be, like, world record setting or anything. All right, so a Mega Man 4 a Remix 1. And at some point along this stretch, I'm going to remember to do this. Yeah, it, I mean, Pharaoh Shot can take those out in one hit, but I'm not really saving any time because I have to wait for the hoppy grasshoppers to get through, or get me through, and I can destroy those totem poles with the Mega Buster in time. You're skipping the E thing, and that was really short. Our Ringman stage at this part. See, like here, I could be switching to all sorts of weapons, but that would just take more time than with the Mega Buster. Same with here, I feel. I, I can do this reasonably with the Mega Buster. And it's not taking me a that much longer. <laughs> Get me up there. Sometimes when you see the goal, like, you don't have to deal with all of the enemies, you can just... This is the first part of Dive Man's stage. Ooh, that was close. Missed him, don't care. Nicely done. Like here, I could switch to Ring or Dust, but... No. I think we'll do just fine without. Oh, not when we miss our charge shots, though. That's why I don't like the Mega Man 4 charge shot as much. Uh, I like... well, Mega Man 5 is busted. Okay, that was an eddy room. I don't have time to wait for that last bat. Got things to do. I have time to wait for either of these bats. Ha! Ah, two minutes in one second! And yeah, that gets me gold. See, some of those tricks worked. Alright, so this is Mega Man 3 Remix 2. 
One issue I am having, you'll see it more next time. So next time, what we'll do is we'll do the Mega Man 5 and 6 remixes 1 and 2. I uh, maybe could have done this better. And then we're going to do the Mega Man 5 Mega Mix. So what the Mega Mix does is it kind of mixes things from the 1 and 2 remixes. But it'll also have a couple new elements in there, and you'll have a couple boss fights spread throughout as well. So that's what the Mega Mix challenges are. And then you have, like, the Mega Man 1 through 3 uh, remix, or Mega Mix, whichever one they want to call it. Uh, and this is what happens in Top Man stage when you don't take your time to kill all the enemies. I need to... Okay, I guess I don't need to kill you. I just need to get out of here. <laughs> I wanted that health. And you are not worth my time. Um, but one of the issues I'm having with, like, some of the... Like, say, the 1 through 5... I, don't, I haven't played the 1 through 5 Mega Mix, I don't think. But I've done, like, some of the 1 through something. It's like 1 through 3 or 1 through 2 or whatever. I keep seeing the Gutsman platform section a lot. You see, there's several sections that just seem to constantly appear, and that kind of annoys me as well about this. I, I feel this was a fairly lazy challenge to do. Can I dodge Proto Man at all? Really now? Really, we're taken to death there. Okay. use our turbo shot. I don't think it helps too much here. Oh, no, it does. <laughs> now we're back in Snake Man stage. Here's a spot where the timer on the bottom kind of obstructs my view from some oncoming enemies. I also could have swore there was like a pit in one of those sections. Uh, because again, the timer was obstructing my view of the floor, and that happens happens a couple times throughout this. Uh, strategy here is just uh, I like how they start you off with a rush marine. I guess spark shot is the weapon we landed on. There's what it does against normal enemies. Does not kill them, just freezes them, and in this little like shocky bubble that other enemies can just come in and push the other one out. That's weird. Oh, this could be detrimental for our health. I'm still alive. Oh, really? I died to those easy enemies? I wanted to not have to switch weapons there. Of course, switching weapons would be easier than taking a death. Now, let's watch as I demonstrate how you can do this without, without, you know, dying. Or, or taking a hit. I only died because I had such low health. Really, get down there. Get down. There's a spot for the, um, turbo shot, but if you don't manage to do that, you know, something like Shadow Blade will work well. Uh, yeah, if it did fire diagonally like I wanted it to. Now watch that. Four minutes, and the, the 33 seconds. Really? I needed to beat four minutes to get the silver. Really? I, I, you can't get much closer than that. Whatever. Uh, weapon to choose this guy. I'm looking for Bright Flash. I was able to see the eyes on my... when I was playing it, and I froze it. Oh, here's a section you don't want to see when you're on a time trial. I don't know what the best way to do this is, other than, you know, turbo fire. But here... Okay, we're gonna try and do this in one shot. Uh, we are not going to make it in one shot. Slide, slide, oh! I slid into that one block there. 
I had a good idea. It just went very poorly. But this uh, Dust Crusher section is... Uh, Is, is another section that will appear a lot. How did I not die there? And see, I'm playing recklessly like this because I'm I'm trying to be mindful of the timer and I'm trying to go fast and I know that kind of ended up just wasting a bunch of time here. This is why I don't really care for time trial stuff. I would rather have something like a hero or superhero mode that uh, Mega Man 9 had at the very least. That's what I was kind of expecting from a challenge mode. Not so much this. I know I said I wasn't going to harp on that, but it, it's worth bringing up again. Oh, there's another spot where you start out sliding. I do not feel comfortable just jumping off that ladder. This is one of the Dr. Cossack stages where it was an alternate path where you could go upwards, and I don't think we went this way when we played. Oh, this is another section that I end up seeing, like, three or four times. I do play some uh, some of the challenges off-camera, uh, just so I can make sure I have enough to unlock the ones that I want to show for next time. The ones that I am showing for next time, I'm not playing those. Uh, and I'm avoiding, like, other Mega Man 5 remixes, just so we don't... Uh, Just so I don't get... I'm like, oh, I've played through this section before when I go through Mega Man 5 and 6. And then what I'm also going to do for the next one, I will show off... Oh, here's one where, where the timer is going to inhibit my... Okay, no, I can't blame that one on the timer. Uh, it's, it's, it's the next death. Yeah, I'm having another death here, by the way. Spoiler alert. Um... So we're going to do the Mega Mixes 1 and 2 for Mega Man 5 and 6. Then I'm going to do the Mega Man 5 Mega Mix. See, I did not see those spikes there because of the timer. That one I can blame on the timer. Um, And this one, I really don't need to switch to drill here. If I had used the, the turbo fire, you can kill that thing super quickly. But we're already on drill. Ah, I'm not supposed to miss. Miss, take a hit, then just, just go. See, I would never play like this normally. Uh, my health transfers from screen to screen, so I do need the health. And if I had realized where I was right away, I could have started out jumping. That's okay. Alright, now we're in Skullman stage. And sometimes I just kind of hold to the right, even, even if that's not quite how I would normally do things. Oh boy, that's a spot to start you off in when you drop into spikes. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do those, the Mega Man 5 Mega Mix, and then we'll do the Mega Man 1 through 6 Mix. Mega Mix, Mix, what, Remix, whatever it's called. The one that has Mega Man 1 through 6. And based on some of the ranting you've heard me uh, in this video, you can probably guess some of the sections that we're going to see repeatedly there. Hey, we got there! Let's see, I'm not expecting more than... Oh, we got silver on that one. <laughs> we need to shave like over a minute off. So yeah, I'm going to unlock some more things, and uh, I'll do like some of the robot rushes and stuff off camera. And I will see you guys next time for the final episode of Mega Man Legacy Collection.